HPE or High Performance Elastomer by Synthen is a four component PU system that can be used to cast tough and durable parts from Shore 40A to Shore 55D. The HP system consists of two polyols and two isocyanates. HPE has high tensile and tear strength, an elongation that ranges from 270 to 900%. It also shows very good chemical and temperature resistance for an elastomer. HPE has a translucent amber color, but can be pigmented with compatible pigments. Please note, it is not UV stable and will darken over time. Because of its complex combination of materials, HPE will crystallize over time, even at room temperature. Crystallization will increase the viscosity and make the product separate. It is therefore important that we decrystallize and homogenize HPE before casting. This is especially important for the polyol when it's been stored for a long time. Looking closely, we can see a color gradient in the material. This is a clear indication of crystallization. To decrystallize HPE, the products have to be heated to 40 to 70 degrees. 500 grams need about 40 minutes in the oven, while a 5 kilo container would need a couple of hours. When the components are heated all the way through, it's time to take them out and give them a really good shake. After shaking, you can keep the products in the oven to reduce the viscosity, but this will reduce the pot life. So it might also be a good idea to let it cool a little bit before casting. After decrystallization, this is what the product should look like. It's normal for the polyols to be a little bit hazy because of the desiccant powder. Before you cast with the HPE, make sure that your mold or support is clean and dry and treated with a suitable release agent. It is also possible to bond HPE to other materials, but for the best result, a primer system should be used. You can contact us for more details. When you have decided what hardness you need to cast, you can check the technical datasheet or the Excel spreadsheet in the video description for the correct mixing ratio. For example, if you wish to cast parts that are Shore 70A, the correct ratio is 25 parts HPE 40A polyol, 24 parts HPE 85A polyol, and 100 parts HPE 40 to 85 ISO. The spreadsheet is made in such a way that you can do the calculations both based on volume and by weight. Remember to always shake the polyol before mixing. When a mix consists of more than two components, you can pre-mix the polyols or the isocyanates before mixing them together. We recommend that you use accurate scales and that you are precise in your measurements so the deviation to the mix ratio is less than 3%. When mixing, you can use a spatula or a drill mixer at low speed. Try not to incorporate too much air. It is also important that when you're mixing, you scrape the bottom and the sides of the container to make sure there is no residue left there. If you want to be extra careful, pour the mix over in a fresh cup before mixing it a little bit again. This will give you the best result. Mixing is one of the most important steps, so there is no need to be lazy here. Give it a good mixing. When working with HPE, as with all chemicals, it is important to take some safety precautions. You should always wear gloves and eye protection, and if not working in a well-ventilated area with extraction, you should be wearing breathing protection. If you want to use pigments, less is more. Use as little as possible to get the desired color. Pigments should always be pre-mixed with the polyol to avoid unwanted reactions with the isocyanate. For best result and visual appearance, we recommend that you use a vacuum chamber to get rid of the excess air in the mixture. Remember to leave enough space in the mixing cup for the mixture to rise during the vacuum process. You will need a good quality vacuum pump as it is important to get the pressure as low as possible. For details about pot life and maximum casting thickness, refer to the technical datasheet. When pouring your mixture into the mold, it is important to be gentle so that you do not create turbulence and create excess air bubbles in the mixture. After casting, it's time for curing. 
let your costing gel at room temperature. Then let it cure for 24 hours at room temperature or at 70 degrees for 3 hours in the oven. Often elevated temperature cure will give the best result. To finish this video off, let's see if we can manage to crush some HPE. If you have any questions or you are interested to learn more about the high performance Lastomer system from Synthen, please do not hesitate to contact Lindbergen Lund. Thank you for watching.